Welcome back to the channel. My name is Brittany of BrittanyJJones.com and I'm here with a new so long video. Today I'm excited because I'm kicking off bodysuit week here on my YouTube channel. We're going to be sewing five bodysuits Monday through Friday using Simplicity Pattern 8513. So if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the videos. Now before we jump right into sewing, I wanted to answer a couple questions that I thought some of you may want to know. So for sizing, for those of you who want to know, I did cut the size extra large for every view. Now I'll talk a little bit later, um, it's one view that I did have to go back to and kind of cut it down to a large in certain areas. So I'll let you know on that day which view that was. And my bust, I am currently a 38 and a half. For needle, I used a ballpoint jersey needle in the size 80-12. Um, now your sizing may vary as far as the type of fabric that you're using, so just make sure that you test out your fabric with your um, needle and thread before you just immediately start sewing, just to make sure you're using the right needle. But for me, I went with the ballpoint jersey needle and I used the 80-12. You, um, you can also use stretch needles. This pattern is sized for, for knit fabric, so make sure that you are using a jersey ballpoint or stretch needle while sewing. As far as fabrics go, um, I did sew one of them in a jersey knit, but um, I think I just used the wrong view for that. I used the view that had the collar on it, so it was loosey-goosey. It wasn't good, so I just completely X'd out into the side and I grabbed a Ponte knit. So my three solids are Ponte's and then my two prints are Liverpool knits. And the two Liverpool knits are my favorite because they have much more stretch, especially when you're trying to snap um, yourself into your bodysuit. It just is a lot easier than the Ponte knits. So just keep that in mind in case you're trying to figure out fabrics. I really do love my Liverpool knits, but I also did Ponte knit as well. So I think that's about all. I think that kind of answers all the general questions. If you have any more at the end of the video, be sure to leave them for me. I'll be more than happy to answer. So let's get into what you will need for view A. So the pieces that you will need for view A are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Um, your piece two, that is cut out of your crotch lining. So make sure that you do that. Go ahead and grab your elastic because you will need that as well as snaps. Oh, I forgot, snaps. For snaps, I use two snaps in all of my body suits. The pattern calls for three, but just personal preference. You know, we can do what we want while we're sewing. I decided to just go with two snaps. So I just wanted to let you know that in case you're like, um, why aren't you using another snap? It calls for three. Just personal preference, I only wanted to use two. So just want to let you know that because you will see that in the video as well. So once you have your snaps, all your supplies, all your notches, your dots, all your pieces cut out, we can start sewing. All right, everybody, so before we get into the tutorial, I just wanna share with you all a slight adjustment that I made to the front and front-facing pieces. I raised that V-neck up two inches and then I just graded it over to the shoulder. I didn't wanna widen the shoulder out. I just wanted to raise up those two inches. And so I did that on the front piece and the front facing. All right, everybody, so let's get started. Step number one, go ahead and grab your piece four, which is your loop piece. You wanna fold it lengthwise, right sides together. Go ahead and put some pins in it to hold it in place. Once you have it pinned, go ahead and take it to your sewing machine and sew on a one fourth inch seam allowance. Okay, so now I'm back from the machine. I've already turned my piece with the right size out. So now you can go ahead and grab your scissors and you wanna cut the long loop into eight small loop pieces, um, about one and three fourth of an inch long. So go ahead and do that and make sure that you have eight equal pieces. Now you can go ahead and grab your front and you should have transferred markings. Um, those markings indicate where your loops should go. So go ahead and fold your loop in half and you wanna match it up with the marking that you transferred as well as the raw edges of your front. So once you do that, go ahead and pin it in place and then do the same thing for the remainder loop pieces. Once you have them all pinned, go ahead and take them to the machine and baste them in place. Once you have all of your pieces basted on, we can go ahead and set our front to the side and go ahead and grab our back piece. You wanna pin your back piece together right sides facing like I'm doing here. Once you're all done pinning them together, you can go ahead and take them to your machine and go ahead and sew down your center back seam and finish off your edges. Okay, so we are moving right along. I have my back pieces sewn together. I finished off my seams. So now we are on step three. You're gonna go ahead and grab your front piece and lay it right sides facing with your back piece. Go ahead and grab your pins because we are going to sew our shoulder and side seams together. So go ahead and start pinning at your notches. 
and then continue pinning both your shoulders and both of your side seams together. Once you have it all pinned, go ahead and take it to your machine and sew your shoulder and side seams together. So once you have your shoulders and your side seams sewn, you can see here I went ahead and I finished off my seam allowance, so make sure that you're doing that as you go along as well as pressing. I also went ahead and finished um, around the leg openings because um, what's going to happen is when you put your elastic on, you're going to do it in the inside and then you're going to roll it over upon itself. So then that raw edge is going to be showing. So I wanted to just go ahead and finish mine so that it have a clean finish. Okay, so our next step, working on our back piece, make sure you're on the back and not your front. You want to go ahead and press up 3 8 of an inch on that raw edge and then you're going to fold it along the fold line. I hope you transferred that marking because it's important. You want to press there as well and after you have it pressed then you're going to sew close to the inner edge along that fold that we just created. So I'm going to put another pin here and then I'm going to sew again right along that inner edge that's right there. Once you have it sewn it should look a little something like this. Just one stitch to hold down that fold. Now we can sit this to the side and go ahead and grab your facing pieces. We're going to stitch these the same exact way as we did for our main front and back. So go ahead and grab your pins and then we can start pinning our back facing together. Once you have it all pinned, go ahead and sew it and then finish off your seams. Okay, so I'm back. I have my seams sewn as well as finished. So now we can take our fronts. And the same exact thing, we're going to line up our shoulders and sides and go ahead and pin there. Start at your notches and then continue pinning the remainder shoulders and sides together. Once you're all done, go ahead and take it to your machine, sew your seams and finish them. I'm also going to finish the edge of my facing with my surgery as well. Okay, so once you have your facing pieces sewn together and the edges are finished, our next step is to put our facing over our bodysuit. So go ahead and grab your bodysuit. You want to have the right sides facing one another. So to do that, just go ahead and slip your facing over your bodysuit. Again, right sides facing. And once you have it over, you want to go ahead and start to match up your seams and your notches. Once you have it all pinned, go ahead and stitch it following the stitching and seam line. All right, so once you have your facing attached, go ahead and flip it to the right side. But before you flip it, make sure that you do understitching. That's very important. This is what that stitch is right here. If you don't know what understitching is, you are stitching only your facing and your seam allowance together not your bodysuit, just your seam allowance and your facing. Also make sure that you clip um, your curves and trim your seams. You also want to clip into that V because if you don't, then it won't lay flat. So don't clip through your stitching, just clip to that V stitching. So after you do that, we're over in step six right now. You can go ahead and base your raw edges together around your arm hold. You can also top stitch around your V-neck. That's over in step six. I opted out of top stitching, but you can do that if you like. You can also tack down your facing to your bodysuit. Um, I would suggest doing that with only the seam allowance. Do You don't want to tack through your whole bodysuit. So just tack that down so your um, facing won't slip out while you're wearing it. So now that we have all that together, we can go ahead and move on to um, finishing our crotch. To do this, what you want to do is right sides together. You want to lay your crotch onto the right side of your front piece. Match up your notches in your centers. Go ahead and pin there, right where you have your notches at. And then you want to go ahead and take it to the machine. And then you're going to stitch along that notched edge. Once you have it sewn, go ahead and grab your scissors and you want to trim that seam allowance down. Once it's trimmed, you can go ahead and now take your crotch lining and fold it to the inside of your bodysuit. Just like I have here. Once you have it turned to the inside, now you want to baste along those raw edges. So that's all I did. I took it to the machine. I basted it together. So now you want to go ahead and grab your piece nine, which is only your leg elastic guide. I just simply laid my elastic over it. I didn't stretch it, laid it over the um, guide, and then I cut two equal strips. 
And so now you wanna go ahead and grab your elastic. We're gonna be working on the inside of the bodysuit. So go ahead and get some pins or clips, whatever you're gonna use, and just go ahead and lay your um, elastic along your leg edge like I'm doing here. Again, I'm working on the inside. So go ahead and do that all the way around both of your leg edges. Once you're done, go ahead and take it to your machine. You're gonna stitch using a zigzag stitch and you're gonna stretch the elastic very slightly as you're sewing. So once you're done, it should look similar to this. And what you wanna do next is turn your elastic to the inside, put you some pins in or you can use clips. And then you want to go ahead and stitch it one fourth of an inch close to that finished edge. So this is how my bodysuit is looking at this point. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my snaps and we can go ahead and apply those right now. To apply your snaps, first you just need to, you know, remember how it's supposed to go. That way you won't be confused. So I'm gonna start working on my back piece first. I'm gonna take one of these pokey parts um, out of the kit. I'm gonna push it through the inside so that the sharp parts are facing me on the outside. I'm gonna lay this piece on top of that my snaps they came in a kit so i have this little blue tool right here that i'm just gonna lay over the snap take it to the floor and bam with my hammer okay so we're gonna do that again i have the pokes through it's coming out of on the right side i'm gonna take that part lay it on top take the tool and then with my hammer go to the floor and then secure the snaps in place so that is how the back is looking so far now we're gonna walk through the front. So now you wanna take your sharp part, put it through the right side on the front, and then get the flat part, put it over top, grab your tool, and then secure it in place with your hammer. Now that I have my snaps applied, you will notice that I only use two, that's just personal preference. You can use however many you like. And now we're all caught up with our view A. And so now the last thing to do is to install our sleeves. So go ahead and grab your two sleeve pieces. We're gonna fold them right sides together and then grab you some pins. And we're gonna pin down that side seam. So first go ahead and start at your notch and go ahead and pin down your sleeve, both of them. Once you have them all pinned, go ahead and take them over to your machine and finish off your edges as well as go ahead and do the hem of your sleeve while you're there. Once you have both of your sleeves sewn together, finished, as well as hemmed, now we can go ahead and insert them into our bodysuit. So what you wanna do is go ahead and grab your sleeve, line up your seams, and then once you have those lined up, go ahead and pin, and then you wanna move along to the notches. So right here, these are my double notches, so this is the back of my sleeve, as well as the back of my bodice. And then continue on around both of the sleeves, pinning them in place, matching up your dots, as well as your notches. Once you have it done, go ahead and sew your sleeve in place, as well as finish off your edge. So now I'm back from my machine, sleeve is in place, the edges are finished, and we are just about done with this bodysuit. So let's move on to the last step and we'll be all finished. Just so you know where we are, we are over on step 14. Go ahead and take your piece eight, which is your tie. You should have two notches on one end. You want to pin those together and sew it across. Once you have it all sewn, go ahead and press your seam out and then you're gonna stitch just the same exact way that you did your loops in step one. Fold it right sides together, stitch it in one fourth of an inch flip it out right sides, and then just thread it through the loops on your bodysuit and you are all done. Thank you so much for joining me for this sew along. I really do hope that you were successful with making your own bodysuit. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe below for more and tune in tomorrow. It'll be day two, which will be view B of our sew along here on my YouTube channel, Sewing Simplicity 8513. See you then. Blessings y'all. Bye.